Hey, what's going on everyone? Bobby from Repair Shopper and welcome to another episode of Feature Friday. This week we're going to talk about something that's been in the works for a while, but is just now ready for the public to see. So let's talk about the ticket dashboard. And real quick, for those of you that don't know what the heck I'm talking about, well, Repair Shopper has a, I guess you would call it a special view of tickets called the ticket dashboard. And let's head over to that. So hit the tickets tab and then in the view button in the upper right, click open ticket dashboard. What'll happen is it's gonna open up a new tab and the original intent for this was to maybe take this tab and drag it over to a different screen. We've even seen people add this to a tele, like a giant television that's mounted uh, for their technicians to see what's going on. It displays tickets if you're using due dates, it will use color coding on due dates and you can customize the color coding. It also shows uh, RMM alerts that are coming in that haven't been converted to tickets yet. So that's all great, but people were wanting to be able to put uh, use something like a Raspberry Pi, for instance, and then running like a Chrome browser tab, be able to have this up in perpetuity, you know, maybe in their office or in their, their tech support center, wherever they want to be able to see tickets. And originally this, of course, required you to log in and you had to stay logged in. So if you're using the logout timer, things like that, uh, this dashboard would go away. Super inconvenient for what folks were trying to do with it. So we've made an update where you can actually generate URLs that you can plug into a browser and leave it up so that you can use it as a heads up display and things like that. So. For people familiar with the dashboard, there is the settings section here. All of this is the same where you can change colors and all of that stuff. But if you're a global administrator, there's a new button called Manage Dashboard Shared Links. When you click that, if you have any already created dashboard links, you'll see those URLs here, who created them, and the timestamps. Along with, if you're a big chain by the way, you can see the locations that these dashboards are displaying, which is a big piece of feedback that we had gotten from anyone that was using uh, our big chain tier, is that you wanted a dashboard, but you only wanted it specifically for a location, because of course, location A probably doesn't care a whole lot about the tickets in location B. Totally makes sense, and now you can actually do this. To create a URL, all you need to do is click the green button, and up at the top of the page, you'll see this new URL you can use. I'll go ahead and just copy it here and drop it into my browser. And it'll show up for that particular location if you're a multi-location. Uh, if not, this is a dashboard that allows you to display all of your tickets without necessarily having to authenticate. It's secured with this public key, so someone can't just stumble upon this URL. Some other notes here is while these link tickets do look like they can be clicked, if you were to click these, it would just take you to the login page. And of course, that's for security and all that good stuff. But yeah, so that kind of concludes a ticket update we had. I hope everyone enjoys uh, this new update to the ticket dashboard. Uh, I look forward to seeing all of the very cool and unique ways people implement this in their shops. Show them to us. Let them see us. We uh, let them see. Let us. Wow, English first language. Super professional. Anyway, let us see uh, all the cool stuff you do with it. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out today. And I appreciate your time. Click that subscribe button, comment, all that good stuff. And I look forward to seeing everybody next week. See ya.